What's going on everyone? This is Trevor here for RSG and you know what I hate to use? Passwords. So I just take my finger and I press and I'm in. And if you want to see how I did that, well you know what you need to do. You need to stick around. Alright, so checking out this fingerprint reader from Onsenlin that they sent me to check out. Uh, it says, hello dongle on the package. It was nice foam inside. I, I actually like this one. Maybe I'll use it for something else. Uh, I like this kind of foam. It's like um, the Mr. Clean sponge kind of. And then it's just, it's this little tiny thing. Look, that's how tiny the hole is, you know, I'll right through it, you know. And... Uh, it's a full metal construction body. I like the build of it. It worked great, not off the bat though, because originally, he, you know, they said it would work right away with Windows 10, but I guess Windows 10 didn't update and it didn't work like that anymore. So he was quick to get me a driver update so I could use this thing. So now that I've used it, let's go into the practicality of it here i love it you know lock it go away walk away and click -roni. there we go right in i don't have to worry about typing in anything and it's great even on the go if you're thinking to yourself well you know maybe someone might if you're worried if someone ever might put a key logger on well it's not going to really work when you have a fingerprint reader and if you think about it like this if someone's watching over your shoulder or there's a lot of cameras around, you want to make sure no one can see a password. Well, there's not going to be a password when you use that. But let's think about some things. If you're going to work, walk away from your workstation, your laptop, whatever it's going to be, you might want to pull that thing out. Don't get any ideas. You might want to pull this thing out. Okay. And put it in your pocket. Now, anything I've used, it's able to reconnect and then let you sign in with that. So it's been fine on that end. So I don't see a problem with it. But just remember, if you do leave it, there's nothing stopping me, the walker by, from just going, whoop, that's mine now. There's nothing stopping them. So in a practicality sense, it makes more sense to have it built into a unit where they cannot just remove something from the usb port but if you keep in mind that you have to take it with you you should be fine like i said it's great that you don't have to worry about a key logger or any kind of person or camera watching over you seeing your password because there will not be a password it's nice quick and easy as you could just click in with these as long as you you know actually hit it with your finger you have to hit it with your finger. It works good if you hit it with, I don't know why, I, my, my finger was like, you know, losing motor functions right there. It's like, I don't know how to click, no. So yeah, it just didn't work right. But anyways, that's just because it's kind of small and it doesn't really have any like set in, like a lot of things will have like beveled edges to rest your finger into. And this doesn't really have that. It's kind of like a flat plate. And I think that is an issue, and that's what I wanted to show right there, is because of it being a flat plate like that, you can easily, you know, it's so tiny, go left and right of it, um, versus right directly onto it, or a little bit to the side and it's not gonna read it. So if you go directly onto it, it it'll be fine. But like I said, most have some beveled edges and a whole rest in, and a lot more than that. Now, when you are setting it up in your sign-in options, and it tells you to keep tapping your finger, do not keep tapping in the same spot. You're going to want to keep moving it around on other parts of your finger, so you can literally hit it at multiple points of whatever finger you are choosing to use, and this will make it a lot better and not frustrating when you try to log in. So those are some tips when you are trying to use it. Uh, I will have the link for it down in the description uh, that you can get it right from Amazon with my affiliate code uh, and it will cost you no extra. It will cost you no extra. Just remember that. But overall, if you find the need for this, that is where to get it. I do find that I like to be able to log in quick and if you're on the go with your laptop and you don't want to 
really use passwords that is a great thing just remember when you're on the go it's in a public place or anything like that if you walk away take the dongle with you even if you got one of those laptop you know uh locks that, that holds it there whatever tape the dongle with you because there's nothing stopping me from taking it with me okay just remember that but i think that really wraps it up that shows you everything I need to show you about this and I think you get the idea it's not very complicated I'm just telling you the practicality of it and I personally like it for this computer just not my laptop so think of it that way when I'm gonna use this computer and I just want a quick login boom that's the quickest way I've ever logged in I mean yeah a pin number is actually pretty quick it's the closest to a pin number you're gonna get uh, or a pin number is the closest you're gonna get to that overall it's up to you whether you need something like this. Does it work good? It does work good. And that's where I have to give this thing a thumbs up in that sense. Where it gets kind of a sideways thumb though is going to be like a little bit of the design aspect. I kind of wish they had way a way to nestle your finger more in there. Like, you know, hey, I've caught your finger and we're gonna put it in the right spot. So it's not going to go to the sides or anything that's the only really thing and uh, the thing that i see about it other than that i absolutely love the build of it and the size of the thing it's great in that sense i took it with me on my trip when i went out to colorado and washington and you will see a video of that once i get all the footage i need from a buddy in washington as well so anyways that wraps it all up for this if you like this video please hit that thumbs up if you dislike that video this video right here you know you could hit that thumbs down then tell me why in the comments maybe discuss some stuff in the comments make sure you hit that subscribe button you know i think it's somewhere over there you know if you hit that subscribe button so you can see all my videos when they come out and then also don't forget that you can go to twitter at ready set game 87 and you can talk to me whenever and shout out and i'll be like what's up how you doing thanks all for watching and i'll see you next time